Hi. So good evening again. We're back. So I'm going to continue lesson number two, which is now sorting. So let's go to our Excel file. Okay. So this is the same Excel file that I've shared to you for lesson number two. The other worksheet is the filter worksheet, and now we are at the sort worksheet. Now, let's go to the task. The task is, or are, one, sort the records according to the last name, sort the record according to homeroom number, follow the first name, sort the record according to the t-shirt size, sort the record according to the payment methods color, and colored on top. So we know what is the basic of sorting. Sorting is arranging uh, our list from A to Z, or if it is numerical, from zero to nine or uh, more than that. So when we say A to Z or zero to nine, that's ascending. And then if the order is reverse, we call it descending. So it depends on the task if it is specified to you to sort it descending, then you're going to apply or follow that instruction. Now, if there is no instruction at all, or it was said ascending, or there is no instruction at all, so you just simply by default going to arrange this from a to Z or from lowest to largest number. So let's start with the first task. Sort the records according to the last name. So by the way, this is a table uh, which has heading uh, on row number two. So this is our record. Okay. Uh, I think this is a name of a person from each class, but I think the whole idea is the orders of t-shirts. So if they paid or not and so on and so forth. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is the first task asked us to sort the records according to the last name. We can use the previous uh, idea of filtering because there's also sorting there. And as I said, it's the same function same group editing, home tab, click sort and filter. We can click filter there and just go to the last name. You can see you're not going to filter, but you're going to sort. So again, it was not mentioned if it is ascending or descending. So we assume it's ascending. So that's it. So you can see the list now is in order. So sorting by definition is arranging. So you have to see if the list now is in order according to the task. So that's the first one, but if you would you would not prefer that, there's another way. So remove the filter, um, or I will just undo everything that I have done. Okay, let's go back to the first one, to the initial uh, stage of this. So what will I do is I will highlight the whole table. Okay, and then I'm going to click sort. Sorry, I'm going to highlight only the last name and the content of the last name, column C. After that, I'm going to click sort A to Z. Okay, so that's the basic of sorting. So you can see that there's a sort warning. The first, uh, the warning is Microsoft Excel found data next to your selections. Since you have not selected this data, it will not be sorted. So the default is it's either you're going to sort only this column and it will not affect the other columns. But of course, that's not our idea. It's very clear or uh, common sense that we have to arrange the whole table. So let's expand the selection. That means you're going to arrange also with the last name, all of this. So sort, and that's it. Okay? So, but uh, 
I'm going to undo again what I have done. And I'm going to show you an advanced advanced sorting. So I'm going to highlight the whole table with the heading or the header. I'm going to click sort. I'm going to use custom sort. Okay, so that's what we uh, we call now advanced sorting uh, by the use of the custom sort. So you click the custom sort. Okay. Now there is already an existing sorting here, so I'm going to just delete all this level. Delete all the levels. So by default, it will, should look like this. Nothing inside. So for us to use the custom sort, we have to add a level. So, so since the task only asks us to sort the records according to the last name, so only one level is uh, needed. So since you uh, included in your highlighting earlier the heading, so you must see that this tick or uh, this box is tick uh, for the my data has headers because you highlighted initially with the header. So click that. You can see the heading that you have earlier. So I'm going to click the last name, sort on the value. Value means whatever is written inside. And then the sorting order is A to Z. Press OK, and it's the same effect. OK, why did I approach it like that? Because the rest of the task will be done using a, uh, a, a or an advanced sorting. So let's see now task number two, sort the records according to homeroom number, then followed by the first name. So there are, just, there are now two levels. First, the homeroom number. So you have to arrange it uh, by the homeroom number. So of course, the lowest first, and then going to the largest. Uh, but if there are the same homeroom numbers, for example, this is 105, this is 105, then they will be uh, sorted okay at the same time. But the thing is, how will you sort them again? So you can give Excel the idea, which is now the second level, which is followed by the first name. So we're going to arrange. If they are the same in the homeroom number, then they will be arranged according to the first name. So again, same task. I like the whole numbers, uh, the whole table with uh, the heading. Sort and filter, custom sort. We're going to change this to homeroom number. So again, the orders is not mentioned in the task. So by default, it's ascending. We add the label, and then we're going to use the first name. So again, by default, it's ascending. So as you can see, the result, 105, 100, 105, they're all in homeroom number 105. And after that, it was arranged by the first name, Chris. Tiana first, then Derek, then Esther, and so on. Okay, so the next task is sort the record according to the t-shirt size, small to extra large. Now, this is <clears throat> uh, a little bit advanced. We're going to arrange the t-shirt size from small to extra large. So, but small S next to small is medium M. So we know that this is not alphabetical in order. So part of the sort and filtering, we go to custom sort. Again, the same procedure. We highlighted everything. Custom sort. I'm going to delete all this level. We don't need that. We add the level and we know what we're going to sort in number three, t-shirt size. Okay. Again, we're going to check the cell values, but now the order is not A to Z anymore. It's not, S is not uh, uh, the first, or it's not, it should not go before medium, okay, In if it is alphabetical. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a custom list, okay? So I click the custom list. Now, how to make that entry? So small, medium, large. Make sure that the spelling is correct. 
whatever is in the table. So the first one in the sizes is small, next is medium. So again, wrong spelling wrong. That's why I want you to inspect all of this. Okay, then next is large. You can see that the first letters are not arranged alphabetically and that's what you want. We, you want the smallest, medium, large and extra large sorting. Okay, so now I have done the list entry. I'm going to add it. Okay, actually I have that already since I was doing this from the beginning of time. Where was it? Yeah. So this is my list. Okay, so what will I do after I add that? So suppose or assuming it's not yet here. So you will add it first. Then after you add that, you will now select from the list, the custom list, and then you press OK. OK, you can see now the order, small, medium, large, extra large. So you can, this is applicable to a lot of things when you want to sort uh, using your Excel file. OK, press OK. You can see now the result is all small, medium, large, extra large. OK, the last task is easier than the previous. Okay, sort the record according to the payment methods color and colored on top. So that's the last payment method only. So same highlight everything with the heading, custom sort, click the sort and filter, custom sort, and then you go for the payment method. Now we will not inspect the cell values because it says there the color. Okay, so cell color. Okay, order is the colored first on top. Okay, that's what it was said on the task. Press OK, and now all the top, all the colored cell will be on top. So that ends our discussion for lesson number two. Uh, I hope you learned something from me uh, with these lessons. Hopefully you can apply this on your other courses. And again, this ends our lesson number, uh, lesson number two. So I will see you again uh, for the following lessons or for the next lessons. And again, I want to greet you. A very nice day. And again, take care, everybody. Ciao.